Greetings, everybody, and Happy New Year. Welcome to Plaid Stallion's Toy Ventures. I am Brian, your host, and I've been on a bit of a break uh, over the Christmas holidays. All my family was under one roof, and, well, you let other responsibilities slide and take advantage and live in the moment. However, I've gotten a few packages in the mail and some stuff I bought, including what I would consider one of my best purchases of 2022. Maybe the best, but I, I really don't want to put a qualifier on it. It is something I have been searching for for decades, and I'm really glad I finally tracked it down. However, I was kind of holding off on opening these packages until I did a video or created some sort of content. And well, it's just gotten to the point where I thought I'd just create a whole episode about it. And there's actually a mystery package in here as well. It, it comes from a friend of mine, and I was not expecting anything from him. So I'm going to shout him out and see what he sent me. So let's open my mail together, shall we? <laughs> so the first thing that I've opened is actually a complete surprise. It's a gift from my friend Dave in the UK who I will be messaging and thanking. Um, this came in over the Christmas holidays, and I just put it with the pile, but I didn't realize it was something I hadn't paid for. And that is a Wild West cowboy outfit from Europe. Uh, I had seen one of these online and just been really amused by it. You know, if you're not in the know, Europe is just full of all these kind of like Mego knockoff lines like Mighty Gary or Steve from Belgium. I think there's also a line called OK Mike. There's all these kind of like wannabe Action Jackson characters. And, and the reason I wanted this set when I saw it was that shirt. That shirt is going on a brick man tooth action figure. That is the most 70s shirt I have ever seen. And the rest of this stuff I'll probably do stuff with. But I really uh, want to say a hearty thank you to Dave for this item. I will make very good use of this, and it is so wonderfully goofy. I really appreciate it. What a, what a thoughtful and nice gift. So this isn't a vintage item, but it is a new Japanese item. I'd been buying some stuff on Japanese eBay for friends and myself. In fact, I've even discovered a Mego figure I didn't know existed, and I'll do a video on that soon. But these are Planet of the Apes uh, talking heads, and they are what you would commonly call gashapon in Japan, and that means uh, vending machine toys. And I probably mangled that, so there's no need to correct me in the comments. I'm cool. I couldn't pass on these for one major reason. The orangutan is not Dr. Zayas. That is Virgil. That's Paul Williams, Swan. And I will buy any Apes merchandise with Paul Williams in it. The talking feature is not that great. It isn't actually speak. It's jaws just open and closed to give the appearance of talking. That's fine. I, you know, it probably would have spoken in Japanese had it had a sound chip in it. The other characters include Aldo, you know, General Aldo, played by Claude Akins from Battle of the Planet of the Apes, which, which Virgil was in as well. And surprisingly, Zira and Cornelius. I don't know why they aren't Caesar and Lisa. That would make sense, considering they were going for this whole battle theme. But I really don't care. I love weird Japanese Planet of the Apes toys. And ta-da, I have four new ones to put in my display case. Now, during the course of the holidays, I did get another package from my UK connection for knockoff action figures. I've opened several mystery boxes on the program before, and this is no exception. I had completely forgotten what was inside, and that just kind of adds to the allure. And this was an amazing assortment, starting with a Comic Superstars Spider-Man. Comic superstars appear to be kind of that bridge between the 80s knockoffs and 90s knockoffs. I, I see these heads and I recognize them from dollar stores of the 90s, but they're on different bodies and they are actually wearing fabric Mego clothes. There was a lot of leftovers in Hong Kong and the United Kingdom for Mego, and these kind of things just sort of trickle out. Now, this is not my only comic superstars. I actually have 
all four right here. And I've opened some of them on the channel, some of them I haven't. But as you can see, it is Batman, Superman, Robin, and Spider-Man, which is newly added. The other characters all seem to have these, like, you know, army boots. Your mother wears army boots. But Spider-Man, of course, doesn't. And they all have these weird heads that literally look like the transition between those cheap, low-molded superheroes of the 90s and where they maybe came from. It's a pretty interesting process, and I absolutely love these. But the box was not empty. There were two other figures inside. Uh, the other one was a superheroes Superman. This is just palatoy overstock of a fist fighting Superman shoved in a bag with a header card. I have a ton of these. I couldn't actually find them, but I did find this Batman in a similar superheroes card back. And again, if you look at um, my video that I interviewed the fellows from Toy Shop on Tour, the first episode of Toy Talk Show, they talk about how a lot of this stuff went out the back door. It was supposed to go in a dumpster, but it got sold and people made hay with it. And uh, these are amazing closeout finds. But the piece de resistance is the third figure. That's right. The header card is Jerry Anderson's UFO. The figure is not. It has nothing to do with Jerry Anderson's UFO. This is a, you know, this is just a fashion doll wearing a leftover uh, Aviva Toys Space Academy outfit. I believe this is Loki's outfit from the show because he was the shorter character. Um, so I would put this around 1980. How ironic. And I love that UFO header card. Um, I'm a humongous fan of UFO. You can check out my UFO collection here. And this is uh, never leaving. Never, ever leaving me. But finally, let's talk about the item that has put me into some kind of financial peril. I have been looking for one of these for 20 years. A lot of my friends, when I showed it to them that I had won this, they went, oh, I thought you had that. And of course, that's the problem. But no, I have been chasing this. This is my white whale. So allow me to show you what I put myself into financial peril for, and that is... A fashion doll, a princess fashion doll to be exact, but it is one wearing the Mego Logan's Run outfit. Just to give you an idea, there is a huge industry of cheapo fashion dolls wearing discarded Mego outfits. Nothing gets thrown out in Hong Kong. It all gets recycled. And I've heard about these princess fashion dolls for years and I've even had a couple of the outfits loose, and they are perfectly in line with the Mego Logan's Run prototypes. They are the exact same outfit. And they obviously just got dumped on these dolls very briefly. There's a few different variations. You can get Star Trek. I have a picture of my Star Trek one here because I can't find it. But this one is huge for me because not only am I a giant fan of Mego, but I am a huge fan of Logan's Run, and I've been trying to track down... Everything related to Migos Logan's Run toy line that sadly got canceled when the series did. And uh, I've done a video on that toy line, and I will put the link here. But this is a very exciting moment for me. Yes, I am super excited for a generic Kmart fashion doll that I way overpaid for. Uh, yeah, super excited. And, and that's the, one of the major reasons that I'm doing a whole bunch of auctions on eBay right now. So that, folks, is my, you know, my last big find of 2022 and a few other really fun pieces. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be making more regular videos now that the holiday season is over and we can talk about in my next video some of the best new figures uh, I picked up in 2022, including, of course, Mego, Figures Toy Company, NECA, and uh, White Elephant Toys. It's going to be a fun episode, and I hope you'll check that out. Uh, that is it for me this week. Thank you, as always, for watching. If you're new to this, please consider hitting like and subscribe. I do this every week. 
If you're not new to this, please consider sharing it. Uh, it really helps me out. Thank you, as always, for the support. And until next time, talk toys, not others, and be well. Cheers. And hey, if you like what I do, I have a store. We have eight issues of a vintage toy magazine called Toy Ventures. We've got two books, uh, three different action figures you can purchase, and there's going to be some new collectibles coming this January. So please check out our store at plaidstallions.com. Thank you.